I had just finished skiing in Chamonix, France. I went to Geneva to catch a flight home. It was delayed. Then I heard about this Geneva International Motor Show. So I said, well, why don't I just go there and check out some cars? That was the first time I set my eyes on a Daytona, and I fell in love with it. I talked to the salesman at the motor show, and I asked him, well, how can I buy the car? He said, well, any Ferrari dealership, you can, you can buy it. Then I said, well, since I'm in Europe, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to go to the factory and just order a car. So I picked the bottle red on a metallic base because I like that color more than the fiery red, which most Ferrari owners like. Then I picked the two color upholstery, which is quite unique also. They told me to come back in the summer when the car's ready then I can drive it right out of the factory. I actually drove the car down south to Marseille, where I was catching the QE2 to New York. So they let me put the car on the boat so that when I got off at New York, I can drive the car home to Toronto. And of course, across the borders, they helped me and said, you cannot, you cannot import this car into Canada because it, 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 it does not meet the, the requirements, the safety, uh, pollution. So after haggling with them for, for a while, they just let go. I guess in those days, back in 1971, there aren't too many foreign imports. That's basically how I got my car. I would have not fantasy, but I saw what I like and, and, and I, I got what I wanted. My dad passed away in 1989 and I had to rush back to Hong Kong. So because I had to leave in a hurry, I just put the car up on blocks, cover it and left, thinking I'll be back in a few months. But things didn't work out because after the uh, funeral, there were lots of estate matters to be resolved. So I end up staying for the next six, seven years in Hong Kong. I've never been to a car auction in my life. So I look up online auctions, but it looks like RM by far is the biggest auction here for, for antique Ferraris. So then I said, well, let me pick up the phone and call RM. <laughs> Looking at the car sitting in my garage, I don't use the car. So let somebody else enjoy it.